The immediate postpartum period, or the fourth stage of labor, is a time of physical recovery for the mother. It lasts from delivery of the placenta through the first one to four hours following birth. After birth, when the placenta separates, the uterine muscle fibers should contract and clamp down on maternal blood vessels that were severed during expulsion of the placenta. This is a time of particular concern because of the risk of early postpartum hemorrhage if this does not happen. Therefore, the safety of the new mother depends on thorough and accurate nursing assessments and interventions during this time. Priority assessments during the immediate postpartum period are to assure that the mother is safely recovering from delivery. They include palpating the uterine fundus and examining the perineum, as well as evaluating the amount and color of lochia, urinary output, and vital signs. For the woman who gave birth by cesarean delivery, level of consciousness, surgical dressing, and return of feeling and movement of her legs should also be checked. Monitoring of an intravenous infusion and urinary output by an indwelling catheter is required as well. There are several causes of hemorrhage. The uterus, without tone and uncontracted, allows the large arteries at the site of placental attachment to open and bleed. Another is injury to the birth canal, such as cervical or vaginal tears, can also lead to excessive bleeding. A concealed hemorrhage can also occur when there is bleeding into traumatized tissue. A large infant, twins, or excessive amniotic fluid can result in overdistension of the uterus, making it more difficult for the uterine muscles to contract. This can lead to atony, which can also occur because of a full bladder or retained placental fragments that do not allow the uterus to contract firmly. Weak, ineffective contractions that result in prolonged labor or very vigorous contractions that result in rapid labor also increase the risk for excessive bleeding as the muscle has insufficient time to contract. Use of instruments such as forceps or a vacuum extractor may result in trauma and excessive bleeding as well. Finally, a woman who had a placenta previa is more prone to hemorrhage because the lower uterine segment has a thin muscle layer and contains few oblique fibers, both of which may lead to poor control of bleeding. Assessment begins with getting report from the delivery room nurse to determine the present condition of the mother and if there are predisposing factors for excessive postpartum bleeding, such as overdistension of the uterus, trauma during delivery, and estimated blood loss during the birth. A history of previous postpartum hemorrhage, retained placenta, fibroids, and high parity are also risk factors. Lab values should be checked for anemia. If the patient has a hemoglobin value of less than 10 grams per deciliter, the patient will demonstrate symptoms of low blood volume more quickly. While providing privacy, the importance of assessments should be explained to the mother.